Great hands. He's got excellent feel. He just got nits. You know, the ball comes off the rim. He gets his hand on the rebound. He's going to pull it in. And I think eventually he'll have a nice 10 to 15 foot jump shot as well. One of the things I see from him as a big is that he does a great job of is he keeps the ball high. When he gets offensive rebound, that tra play in transition where David dropped it back to him, he kept the ball high where it was not going to get affected. A great point. We saw guys like Will Foster, Rob Sack, who struggled with that throughout their career. He's already got that. Obviously a lane violation called there on Zidzik, giving Karnowski another opportunity. And he makes good. Jones with the spin. Dranginas tried to poke it. Jones to the rim, knocked out of there by Karnowski. It's out of bounds, and it's Gonzaga basketball. Jones doesn't like the call. Well, Jones is going to be a big player for Nazarene next year, Dan. You talked to the coaching staff. Transfer from UCLA. They have big expectations for him. You've seen him. He's been aggressive. He's gotten to the rim, just hasn't been able to finish. I think Gene's size has bothered him. Yeah, he played at UCLA. Didn't play a ton of minutes, but you're in a program like that. You know how to play, and you can play it uh, at any level. Brad Guinness, no shot. This is an offensive foul. And was this on Barham? Uh, I'm losing Karnowski. He's looking around, a little confused. It is called on Karnowski. That's his first team second. Let's take a look at it here. Great drive from Kyle, and it looks like the officials don't like to call. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was pushing off underneath, but that's the adjustment that you talked about, Dan. It's just a different game. It's called differently, different speed. He might struggle with fouls for the first half of the year until he gets acclimated. You're allowed to hold space with an arm, right? Yeah, I, yeah, that was. But I think one thing that Richard can speak to is the fact when there's a block call on Mike Hart. He's a master. <laughs> Only not there. You know, going back to the point that we were talking about with Shemek is, you know, Richard can speak to the fact that when you're a big guy, do your work with your lower body. Create space with your hips, uh, different things like that. If you start pushing up top, you're going to be an easy target for the refs to call fouls on you. Jones missing the first. Last eight possessions for the Crusaders. 0 for 5 from the floor. Three turnovers. Hasn't been a pretty ball game. Nazarene 2 of 9 at GU 3 of 10. I think some first game jitters. Well, I like what I see from Northwest Nazarene right now. They're not backing down. They're trying to play their style. You know, hopefully Gonzaga can become a little bit more efficient on the offensive end here. Dranganis from three. Jones with a rebound. Down the middle, Donaldson. Used his right hand for some reason. And he missed the lay-in. Stockton with his right hand. And back comes Jones. Gentlemen. <laughs> Back in the old days, this is one of those uh, this is one of those eight minute stretches where you talk about the effort is great <laughs> on both ends of the floor, but you don't really want to show the tape. Not a lot of not a lot of highlights. There's Rima. That was way off in three. Brent Venus up to Hart. He'll try it, and he's lucky he didn't get hurt there. He came down on one leg, and that knee was in a precarious position. Foul called. That shows you a little bit of the versatility of Kyle Dranginas there, though. He got the offensive or the defensive rebound, bust out dribble, and threw that thing ahead. He's got a great feel for the game. And that's one of the reasons the coaches are so high on him being a very big part of the team this year. He's a guy you can run the offense through Kyle. There, there's no doubt about it. It just happens, happens to be playing behind Pangos, and Stockton's been an excellent backup throughout his career, so he's not going to get a lot of minutes at that spot, but you can put him there in a pinch. Well, he's a wing who can make point guard plays yeah. at times. So he definitely is going to be a bonus to this team as the season goes on. The starting five back out on the floor for GU. Actually, Harris will be checking in here in a moment. Eight team fouls on Northwest Nazarene. Harris in, hard out. Our score 10 to 5, Gonzaga with a five point lead. 12 34 to play in our first half. It's about the third time you've seen this full court pressure off a made basket, rather, made free throw from GU. 
Uh, when you, if you can play 10 guys, you can do that sort of thing defensively. There's Nichols. Got around Bell and then got caught in the air. Dower grabbed it away from him. Here's Harris with Eddie. Good decision there by Harris. <laughs> Starting to get in a funny position with him, bringing the ball down the floor in transition. There's a nice post feed and finish. Guy Landry, Eddie, 12 to 5. And what's interesting is they've played with Guy at the fourth spot in practice at times just to get a sense of what that look would be both offensively but more defensively. With him at the four, you can really press and pick the tempo up defensively. Such a good athlete. Jones driving. And there's a foul inside. By the way, that last bucket by Eddie, that was our first bucket by either team in over four minutes. We've got a timeout. 11.34 to play first half. Gonzaga 12. Northwest Nazarene 5. 11.34 to play first half. 12 to 5. Gonzaga with the lead on Northwest Nazarene. Let's talk about Gonzaga's defense, guys. Here's a bright spot. Well, you like what you see so far defensively from a couple guys. David Stockton's really gotten after it. Got his handles on some balls. Sam Dowers making an extra effort on the defensive end. Uh, you know, but Mike Hart taking a charge. Those are the things you have to do consistently to be a great defensive team. Yeah, I, I think part of it's that Nazarene is nervous. They're not playing well offensively. But, and GU isn't either. But this has been great effort from GU and good rotations. And that's usually what comes first is that defense comes first. That offense can take a while to gel. The Crusaders, eight turnovers and two of 12 shooting thus far. And Sam Dower at the free throw line. Big Sam now a junior out of Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, 6'9". The fact that the ball comes over off of his left hand, how, how unique does that make him? How difficult, or how does it change a defender's way he would play a lefty? I think it makes a world of difference, particularly for post players. You're so used to guys going over their left shoulder to the right-handed hook. Uh, no matter how often you try to drive it home as a coach, your instincts as a defender uh, tell you the opposite. And I think it makes it more difficult. Plus, he's got just great touch, good feel, good moves. He's just a handful on a low block. This is Nichols to the free throw line. Eddie chasing, and Nichols knocks it down. That's a great offensive set there by Northwest Nazarene. They've not run it a number of times now, but that's the first time they've uh, executed for a bucket. That was a first make by the Crusaders in nine shots. Take right. another look at it. Yeah, see the screen? No show. No, no show right there. Sam is sagging off his man and isn't showing. I guarantee the coaching staff will show him that clip. You need to be more aggressive. That's what Rob did so well. True. He showed you've got to give your guard a chance. I know if that was me and that was you, Dan, I'd be, you could yell that oh, right now. You would you've be got to show. Up right there, and, but. I, and that's the, the end of the floor. Sam needs to make a jump this year. We know he can score. He's got to become a better, re or pardon me, defender on that end of the floor. Well, one of the things you look at, though, is always good offense beats good defense every time down the floor. Well, that time, Northwest Nazarene really executed. Loop cut over the top, hit the wing. Hawkins came off a great ball cut, or ball screen. But you're right. Sam must be much better at that this year. That's the 10th team foul for the Crusaders in the first 8 minutes and 50 seconds. Wallen and missing. Rebound. Here's Hawkins. Oh! <laughs> I wondered... Another turnover. Yes, right now, the game's just a little too fast for Nazarene. They need to slow it down a bit. You know, they're getting good shots when they've taken their time. The two or three possessions that have, you know, they've been able to run through, but quick, quick shot in transition, a rush shot off an offensive rebound. Take your time. Get into your offense. There's Bell. There's some good defense there. Jordan Nichols kind of fronting that entry pass. 16 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, I tell you what, Nazarene is well coached, as Dan mentioned. 
a lot of effort. They have a lot of pride in this program. They're not as talented as they've been in a, you know, a, a number of years, but still, the effort's been there. There's Eddie inside. Missed it. Bauer lost the grip. Knocked out of bounds. Possession to Gonzaga with six seconds on the shot clock. Well, you, you look at what does Northwest Nazarene gain out of a game like this? Well, they got a great experience for their, their players and their program, but they also get a chance where if they improve the way they're showing they could this year, come playoff time at their level, they can say, well, we've played better teams. Whoa! There's a deep three. Kevin Pangos. Not quite dick out range, but close. <laughs> you know, that could be a very big shot for him this year. Shot clock running down. If he can create space, get to his jump shot, it's going to be big for him as well as Gonzaga to potentially have him become that go-to guy. And that shot by Pangos ended a 1-for-10 shooting slump for GU. And here's the steal by Bell. He'll take it. That's it short. Pangos trailing with the rebound. Bell, open three, corner. Well, there you have it. Two possessions, two threes by Pangos and Bell. We're going to see a lot of that, aren't we? Saw a lot of that last year. I got a feeling you're going to see that this year, the next, next couple for GU. But I'll tell you what, Gary Bell, to me, is one of the better two-way players they've had here in a few years. I mean, think about it. He's... Talented defensively. Last year for a freshman to be asked to guard consistently the best player on the perimeter for the other team. And then now offensively, you see how his game is starting to evolve. He's a handful on both ends. Yeah, you very rarely see a freshman come in at the college level being asked to guard the other team's best player. And you're right, exactly right. Gonzaga gave him that challenge last year, and he took it, and he proved that he could do it. Good-looking basketball player. Gonzaga on an 8-0 run in the last minute 30. And they've opened it up to a 22-7 score. And Bell picking up a cheap one. That's his first. Team's fifth. Actually, team's fourth. Pangos as a defender. I think he's underrated. You know, he's good on the ball. He doesn't get a lot of steals on the ball, but a lot like David, he's crafty as far as jumping the passion lanes as Jones. Jones takes a contested jump shot. He led him last year in steals for game at a little over one, so you know, I don't think he's a liability. I won't ask you, Dan. You didn't know much about defense, did you? <laughs> Pangos laying down the baseline. Just kidding, my friend. You know, Sometimes if you're not the greatest defender in the world through athletic ability, you can make up for it yeah. by knowing the game, knowing your opponent's tendencies, and that's one thing that I think Kevin also really does a good job, understanding the game. How about that lead by Bell to Harris? Showing a little bit of his versatility. Get in the lane, create the defensive attention, drop it off to your big. I think Gary's got a lot more to his offensive game than he showed last year. Dower gets a good block underneath. Yeah, Zidzik. In close. Bell again. Great stretch of basketball right there by Gary Bell. He threw that ball ahead. You know what I like about... Pangos threw it ahead to Gary, ready to shoot. What I like about Gary Bell, he gets it done, scores all these points, and he wears pads. He's got shin pads. He's a tough customer. He's ready to get after any moment. There's no doubt. He's a tough kid. Gary Bell just flat out gets after it. 13 points in the last two minutes and 30 seconds for Gonzaga. I think that's the kind of offensive play that Mark Few had in mind for this team this year. Well, I think if you look when the starting group came back in, I think they realized what Coach Few wanted, them to be a little bit more efficient offensively, but get after it on the defense. Gotcha. Easy opportunities, which they've done. Here's Harris with it. He'll drive with that left hand. All the way to the rim. No travel, but finish. And we got five players up off the bench for GU. There's a turnover. Guy Landrietti in the open floor. Somehow saved it and then threw it away. He's athletic. 
7.42 to play first half. Gonzaga with a 31-7 lead.